Rainbow Dash! Snow came early to the island of Sodor and was more heavier than usual and blocked the tracks. Most of the engines hated snow, but Donald and Douglas were used to it. Coupled back to back with a work coach between their tenders and snow plows on their fronts, they soon set to work. The twins with the Changeling brothers soon puffed backwards and forwards patrolling the main line. Generally most of the time, the snow swept aside easily, but sometimes they found even deeper drifts. Further down, they came to a drift that was larger than most, but when they charged it, they stopped very quickly. And as they were backing up for another try, when suddenly they heard an engine whistling and two voices yelling from the snow. Help! Help! Huh? What was that? For oh, six hearts, it's Henry and Flourishy. Do the first one, so Henry. Wait a while. We'll have you and Flourishy out soon. Henry and Flourishy were very grateful for their rescue, but they saw all was not well. The twins and Changeling brothers were looking glum. Then they told them that Sir Toppin Hat was still making a decision. Ah, uh, it really is a shame. Oh, I hate to see our new friends being scrapped back on their homeland. Oh, imagine the horror! A lot of nonsense from accidents like a broken signal box. I hear ya. We've got too many of them lying around if you ask me. Not to mention that spiteful Brig Van Dominic. Good riggins that he got scrapped. That's what I say. Indeed, Jamesy. That ruffian was nothing but trouble from the start. The twins were splendid in the snow, keeping our lines clear. They deserve a lot better than being sent back home. Yes, they were blamed for problems that they didn't commit. It isn't fair, I tell you. They all agreed that something must be done for their new friends, but none knew what to do. Later, Percy and Pinkie Pie decided to talk to Edward and Applejack about the problem. What you guys need is a deputation. Yeah, it always helps a lot of situations like this even back on my farm. They then explained what it meant. Percy and Piggy quickly raced back to tell the others. Guys, guys! Me and Percy have got an idea that can save Don and Douglas from being deported. Piggy's right, guys. Edward and AJ said we need a, uh, what was the word I use again? A uh, uh, depot station? Of course, Percy. But the question is, what is a uh, desperation? I've never heard that word before. It's when we all tell Sir Topham Hat that something's wrong and we ask him to put it right. Party Pod, speak the truth. Wait a minute. Did you say tell Sir Topham Hat? Soon, there was a long silence. All right. 
right, then I suppose that Percy and Pinky will be our, uh, disputation. What? Us? But well, we can't! You tell him. Just thinking about it gives me goosebumps. Don't be ridiculous, Percy. It's easy to talk to Sir Topham Hat. Henry's got a point. We know Sir Topham Hat very well, and that he's understanding and will help us no matter what. All right, that's settled then. Poor Percy and Pinky wish it wasn't as they went to see their boss. Hello, Percy. Hello, Pinkie Pie. It's nice to be back from business duties on the mainland. When the duo saw Sir Top and Hat standing in front of them, they jumped in surprise. <coughs> ah, Private Do Not Enter, ready for duty, sir! Yeah, <laughs> pleasure to have you back. <laughs> you two look nervous. What seems to be the problem? Yeah, well, please, sir. They made us a, a desperation, a, a, a documentation, or they had us be with you, sir. And believe me, I am not a fan of it. Do you mean a deputation? Yes, that's it. Uh, yes, sir. It's about Donald and Douglas. They said if you send them back to Scotland, they may be scrapped, and well, needless to say, that'd be pretty awful. So please, sir, don't send them away. Percy's right. They're not bad engines. They just have been going through a lot since you brought them. And they were blamed for problems that wasn't their fault. They're our friends, and friends should not be separated. So please let them stay. Thank you, Percy. That's all I needed to hear. Next day, Sir Topham had spoke to the other engines and ponies at Titmus Jets. I had a, uh, a deputation yesterday. I understand your feelings, and I've given some thought to the matter. He then paused impressively then turned to the Scottish twins and Changeling brothers. Donald and Douglas, I've heard your work in the snow with thorax and pharynx was impressive. So as a reward, you two will get a new coat of paint. The twins were both delighted and surprised. Thank you, sir. You two will also have nameplates mounted on you, but we'll have no more cases of mistaken identity. Thank you, sir. Does this mean that the both of us... So, why are you saying, sir? Well, if you must know, what I'm trying to say is... But the rest of his speech was drowned by the delighted chorus of cheers and whistles from all the engines and pumps. So, it was official. The Scottish twins, Donald and Douglas, and along with Thorax and Therix, the leader of the Changelings, were here to stay forever.